Hi, Elorikum Vanakam, Namaste, Namaskar. Uh, my name is Kalki Subramaniam. I am an activist, a gender rights activist. I'm an artist, uh, a poet, and a writer, and I'm a transgender woman. I run an organization called the Sahodri Foundation, which works for the transgender community of India, their empowerment, their upliftment, and their respective place in the society. So today, um, I'm very happy to actually talk about a, a short film that I saw um, in two languages, in Malayalam as well as in Tamil. It's called Avar Avar. It's kind of a 14 minute short film, but a very, very sensible and a very sensitive film that talks about the plight of a transgender person. More than that, it actually talks about the plight of the parents and especially the mother who goes through. Uh, when a child actually transforms through one to another gender, that is not only painful for her or him, but also it is very painful. The transition is very painful for the parents also, particularly mother, because my mother has gone through that kind of uh, struggle. And every mother, every parent of the trans people has to go through that. So I have with me uh, Mr. Sridhar and uh, Mrs. Sumati. Sridhar has not only, uh, is actually actor, and he's also producer of the film. Uh, and Ms. Sumati is a friend of us. She is an activist who works on uh, different aspects of life for the underprivileged and for environment. So I'm very happy they are friends. They are alumni of PSG, that's what I understand. And they're very good friends. And um, so I'm here to talk about the experiences of the film. So over to Sridhar sir first. Uh, thank you so much ma'am uh, for the good intro. Uh, on uh, this short film. Uh, in fact, my name is Sridhar. Uh, I did my MCA from BSE College of Technology uh, 24 years back. I have Sumuti also, my own classmate. Uh, she also finished her MCA from BSE College of Technology and she was working in US for the last 15 years and now she has come back to India and she is focusing on uh, various social activities, focusing on health and education and on the empowerment of, of women. Uh, a year back, uh, we all completed our uh, Silver Jubilee celebrations of our batch. Uh, in fact, it was a great experience. All of our classmates all over the world, uh, we all assembled in uh, at Kaimathur and we all went back to the old memories from the, where the life started, uh, the, the way the circle started. And today it was very nice to see people at various good levels across the world at very high positions. Uh, it was a two-day uh, conference and meet and uh, during the meet, uh, in a very casual over the cup of tea, uh, we all had a different kind of a thinking. All of us have been in the IT industry for the last 25 years and at the same time we all wanted to give back to the society, uh, conveying a, a very good social message. At the same time, uh, something totally out of uh, uh, IT. We, we never want to do anything IT related, non-IT related. We took it as a challenge. So an, uh, an idea came, why don't we do a, a short film? And that was a very, uh, very exciting and very you know, uh, uh, excited to all our friends. And we said, okay, let us jump into it and let us all do that. Uh, a story, I just formed up a story and immediately a story came and we, we thought, okay, we'll just put it up. And immediately I called up two of my friends uh, who were basically in US, that is, uh, uh, Ravi and Velu, uh, they are based in the US and I just told them about uh, this concept and uh, this thing what, what I am going to do. But they too got so excited without asking a question, they said Sridhar let us do it. Thanks off to Velu and Ravi wherever you are watching this video, once again thanks for supporting me in this project. So they were also involved and they are also the producers of this movie and we just took up this uh, as a movie, as a social message conveying to the society. So that is how uh, the background or the history of uh, this all started out. And today uh, I have with me uh, Sumati, as I told you, uh, she's also my classmate, but she's also focusing on rendering uh, a lot of social activities and she's into giving yoga and uh, she also plans to actually, you know, if time permits, to teach yoga to the uh, supporters and transgenders. Wonderful. Um, I'm very happy to know that, ma'am. Anywhere, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and Sumati, you have to say something. Uh, <laughs> so, not a uh, movie, it's, it's like a real story. Um, those 10 minutes, the feeling behind, uh, the feelings, the expressions of, of 
mantra and the dog. It's amazing, amazing. I, I don't have any words to express it. It's more than watching the movie, I have a friend who can know. I want to learn more. I don't know much about the transgen. And I'm so happy that I have a friend close to my house. But I'm very, very happy that uh, you're coming forward to support the transgender community. Can you talk a little bit about that? I mean, First of uh, all, you know, uh, it's like any other world. issues, like, you know, the choice marriage or love marriage or the community, the caste system. Yeah, when you speak to an individual, they're open to it. But as a society, you can, what others would think about us if you're very mm. open to it. I feel that the same kind of issues, if you talk to somebody, they're open to it. But as a group, as a society, uh, whether you want to be a friend or you want to accept it, they're concerned about what others will think of me. We have to break that. First of all, though I'm educated, work in the US, I have no clue how this things work, what a transgender is, how they go through this transition from one to another, like uh, whether they get married, whether they can have kids, all these scientific, um, anatomy questions. So first of all, we have to educate. And we have to educate the kids from, you know, instead of changing the elderly people like, you know, instead we have to focus on the youngsters, yeah, absolutely. age onwards, because that's where the kids transgender feel, you know, whether I'm a male or a female, uh, we have to take away the confusion, we have to teach them from school. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, what about... Um, and health-wise, I have seen, like, I have seen many of them going through um, difficulties, you know, and health-wise what they have to do, and uh, mm, I've been teaching yoga to all the village people. In the oh, Narod, Palachi, oh, okay. and so will you teach yoga yes, for yes. The, our community? Yes, anytime, <laughs> any place, anywhere. Okay, where will you teach? You suggest anywhere. anywhere. Oh, okay. 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 I'm happy to do it. Sridhar sir, uh, first actually initially you were moderate. You were supposed to moderate, but I'm moderating. <laughs> <laughs> You're a journalist, right? <laughs> I'm moderating it by fortune or unfortunate. But I want to know one thing from you. Um, you acted very well in the film. But my friend doesn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> my friend is angry to me. Anyway, thanks for the call. She's She's teasing it. anyway. <laughs> I was thinking that you don't have to set the score. <laughs> okay. But you really acted well and it was uh, completely a father's emotions you brought as well as the resistant part, uh, the shock part, the resistance part, the acceptance part, everything was very perfect. The mother character was also very intense. Actually, the film was more intense between the, the parents and the kid. Right. It was the intensity was that. Otherwise, all the characters was outside. How they see this uh, characters, see this family, was all. Uh, I would say that the, the, that is the struggle in the family, and the discrimination in the society. We can actually dissect the film in two ways: the world outside, the world inside. So the world inside is actually, for a trans person, the world is her family. That's right. Yeah, mother and father are the world. Her whole life being actually has so far de depended on her. And furthermore, the family is the backbone of every person, including trans people. So in that way, the film actually was in two parts. One from the point of view of the society, the other from the parents' view. I would say even the struggles, internal struggles of the transgender person was not completely mm -hmm. exposed, but more the emotional part was exposed. That's right. So that is the more, most beautiful thing about this film, I would say that it portrayed what kind of uh, struggle the mother goes through, the father goes through, how they have to overcome it, and then they accept their child as a natural thing. So I wish all parents, uh, I like those characters, yeah. Absolutely. Especially my mother, when she, just a few minutes before when she saw the film, right. there were like two minutes of that mother character and she started crying. I saw tears in her eyes and I was really moved too. So this film is moving uh, from the parents' point of view. It's very moving from the human point of view. It's very moving from the transgender perspective. It is very moving as well. So... I'm sure this film is going to receive many awards. Thank you, man. And Thank how you. was that possible? My only question is like, 
<laughs> Did you go to any acting schools before? Me? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. This was my first venture. Okay. And I was facing the camera the <laughs> first <Okay. laughs> time. But it was really good. Is it so? Thank really you good. so much. One more thing I have to talk about the direction. Uh, the director has conveyed it very sharply. I love the direction. Okay. And uh, I don't know if... Uh, the camera person also was very innovative in a way that in one shot I saw with the mother and the child, the camera was actually going and coming. That's right. It was a lullaby yeah, shot. Yeah, we want to give that swing yeah. actually at yeah. that particular the moment. Swing, yeah. It was actually a swing moment of the camera. The mother's true. Lullaby. Yeah. Tala to be saying. Absolutely. 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 That was what the camera was doing yeah. and uh, I don't know how many people would have watched it. Yeah, absolutely. It's true. very beautiful. Okay. That was a very beautiful idea to convey how the mother's love is so important okay. to her child. Sure. So I have a feeling that this movie is very powerful and it's going to receive many awards. And um, the audience, they surely have to watch this film. We need to take this movie across India. Um, I think it is, an, it is a universally appealing film. Only that we need to add subtitles in uh, subtitles English. Subtitles only there, ma'am. It's there, there okay. the English subtitles. Okay, there. sir. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a totally uh, a beautiful film. Uh, my rating for the film out of uh, nine, st uh, out of ten stars, is it is um, nine. Wow, oh, okay. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, um, one or two uh, errors are there in the film, but that is not much important. For example, the supporting characters, some of their voices in Tamil True. were not very uh, suiting. But then there are many aspects to talk positively about this film. So it's a very beautiful film and uh, all for audience, all of them who watch this video of our discussion, please wait. You have to wait for a few more months because uh, the film is going for uh, film festivals and uh, it will fetch many awards and then it will come to you. To all the US folks, uh, next month the man is traveling to US, uh, especially in San Francisco. And possibly we are trying all of our uh, best to actually screen this movie uh, in San, Fran San Francisco with the help of uh, Velu and Ravi Yeah. So all the US folks, please watch it there in US. Yeah. And also I'm waiting to come to your home and have your food. So please. <laughs> <laughs>